For the sake of your kid, if you think like that, you'd better change this job for your kid. If you have a kid, you can't work at night, can you? You have a happy family. Why are you working at a hostess club? <laughs> You're marrying me. I'll quit and follow you. Choose me! This is... what's going on? Well, I'm almost done with my break, so I'm going to go, Aoi, okay? Sorry, Keiji. Always insistent on talking to you. Come home soon! I love you! Bye! Ah, <sighs> She's an angel. My name is Keiji Sato. My work starts in the evening. Good morning, Kei-chan. Ah, good morning. Thanks for all your hard work. I'm working as a host in a hostess club. Hey, here they come. We have three of the best sellers in this neighborhood. Good morning. Thank you for your good work. I heard you calling earlier. Are you still here? You should have changed jobs if you're thinking about your kid. <laughs> Showing your happy talk with the kid is demoralizing. Be careful. I yes, I'm sorry. If you have a happy family, you should be in a host club, not a hostess club. Japanese host club is like a bar that cool guys host girls. <laughs> I'm also in charge of public morals and monitor these girls and the staff to make sure they don't get romantically involved or get into trouble with the customers. Maybe that's part of the reason the three top girls hate me. I'm concerned about what they said about my happy family, but... Can I have a word? My shoe is missing. One of them. Oh, again? If you know it's happening again, do something about it. I'm sorry. It's a locker room, so I can't install surveillance cameras. I'll check again. It's scary, isn't it? The girls are getting anxious. It's supposed to be my job to make them feel safe, but I'm sorry for that. I'm thinking about operations such as locker room usage and key storage, so I'll discuss it with the other workers and report back to you. I don't mean to want you to apologize to me. Well then, I will leave it to you. Got it. Thank you for your excellent work. Hostess clubs are a true reflection of popularity and competence. They say there is a lot of harassment from jealousy and envy. At my place, Noah and her friends are in control, so I've rarely had to deal with such things, but I'll have to deal with this. Let's drink! Come on! I ordered champagne because I thought you would be happy. Thank you, I'm enjoying it. Drink more. Here, here, take a gulp. Aw, I wanted to talk with you more, Kogane-san. Are you saying you can't drink my booze? Hey, let's gulp down. Here she goes. Aw, why did you have to say that? But I have to drink. I want to see Yui get drunk. Can I? Thank you, Kogane-san, for all your kindness. What's that? Is this non-alcoholic? Yui-chan, chug, chug. Okay, now, Kogane-san, here you go. Let's get another one, shall we? Oh, so cool. Uh, <laughs> if it makes you happy, shall I get another one, yeah? Thank you very much. A bottle of champagne from Kogane-san's Inn. Champagne! 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 I overdone it. Kogane-san is leaving. Thank, Thank you, very you very much! much. You switched my champagne to non-alcoholic, didn't you? I don't want the girls to get wasted. It's only natural for me as a host to do that. Hmm. 
Well then, I'm going home now that my shift is over. If you'll excuse me. Hey, you know? What was that? What's the deal with that? He doesn't listen to what the hostess has to say. But he helped me. Don't be fooled, Yui. I... I know. So Sato-kun is actually a nice guy. I'm starting to see him in a new light. You shouldn't trust men so easily. They talk a good game, but some people are prejudiced against a hostess. Good for you, Yui. I get what you mean, Nagisa. But maybe you should accept her. <sighs> okay. But in the world of night work, public morals are absolute. If Yui gives off an I might like you vibe, people might get the wrong idea, so be careful. I got it! Oh, Nagisa-san. We're here in front of your condo. Thank you. Huh? You don't have to lend me a hand, just leave the door open. You must be tired. I'll walk you to your room. No need. Oh, come on. Let me. Isn't he a little creepy? Uh, he isn't my cup of tea. Shall we go with her? Yes! Nagisa-chan, you should be careful. I'll take you to your room. You're too persistent. Suzuki-san, are you disturbing public morals? Public morals? Why are you here? You are not allowed to do anything the girls don't like. Didn't I tell you that during the interview? W well it's just out of my kindness, because she might be tired. The fine for public morals is 300,000 yen according to the store's regulations. Do you want to pay for it? I'm sorry. We'll get up here too. What? I wanted to go to your place too. Gross! Well then, Suzuki-san, thank you for your hard work. Take care. <laughs> Thanks. I, I won't thank you for that, you know. That's okay. I just did what I was supposed to do. Why are you here? You have a child waiting for you, right? And you're on a bike? Why don't you just go home? The kid got a fever, and I was going to the convenience store to buy some cooling gel sheets. Then I saw you guys. If your kid's running a fever, why don't you go home right away? I feel sorry for your wife. If she finds out you're surrounded by three women... What? My wife? You have a child and a wife, don't you? Hurry and go home! Uh, well, uh, by any chance, my wife and kid means... You're always in touch with them. That's why you're off to the home even though we call out to you, right? Don't you realize that you're always lovey-dovey over the phone? Oh, that's... My niece and my sister. What? Aoi is my niece. Uh, my sister Rina is a single mother. Kidding! We were raised by a single mom and our mother died. So my sister Aoi and I live together now. That's why you work at a hostess club that pays well? My sister and Aoi are the only family I have left. So I wanted to support them. So you're not married? No way! I'm not married. And I'm ashamed to say, I don't even have a girlfriend. Ah, excuse me. Hello, sis? Huh? And some of Aoi's juice? Okay, I'll buy some and go back. Okay then, excuse me. Keiji Sato is single. And no girlfriend. I see. I'm a little concerned about Suzuki-san. Kei-chan, morning! Oh, morning! Let's give it all as always! Hey, you know! 
Don't let you get the better of public morals. Nagisa-san! What? Did I do something? Why is she so mad? Huh, I'm sorry. Huh. If you chickened out, you shouldn't talk to him. Hey, Nagisa-san. That was part of our communication. What if you've got so into her? Then when you're gone, who's going to be... When I'm gone? Who's going to be charge of public morals? Keiichi-san! Hey, hey, Yui! Um, thank you for protecting me yesterday. W well no problem. I'm just doing my job. If he comes at me again, you can put yours on his tab, okay? No way. That's out of the question. Honest and sincere. <laughs> good morning, Keiji-san. Oh, good morning, Noah-san. Um, is this for a customer? Two. Eh? I'm sorry, I couldn't catch you. To your niece and sister. That's not fair, Noah-san! You're cheating us? It was you who said we shouldn't give it to him because it would be luggage. You're so naive. Well, thank you. But to my niece and sister? Your sister might catch a cold from her and wouldn't be able to go shopping if her kid is sick, so... Oh, yeah, you're right. Thank you. I was raised by a single mom, too. When I got a fever, my mother would take off work and stay with me. I felt bad about that at that time. Are you sure? So many. Oh! Was there anything that didn't suit your palate? Uh, I really appreciate that you look out for my family. Well, I'm glad you're happy. The fine for public morals is 300,000 yen, Noah-san. So do you... You, Nagisa. Keiji-san, can I ask you for some more advice? Sure, if it's okay with me. Then please, me too. Just the two of us. <laughs> Noah-san, you told me you won't cheat us. W well, I thought you guys didn't like me much until now, but what happened? Obvious. Making a move on a married man is disgusting. I didn't want to do anything that would make your kid unhappy. That means... I, I thought, thought you were, were married, married with, with a kid. kid. I don't get it. Well, hey. If you're not married, that means I can go for it, right? I've been holding myself back until now. It's okay now, right? I have a crush on you, Keiji-san! The person in charge of public morals is disturbing it. No way, I thought you hated me until now. Well then, I'm quitting being a hostess. Huh? If it's for love, then I have no choice. <laughs> hey! You want me to switch to a day job? Sure, I'll take it. No, no, no! I'm indebted to the owner! I can't have you quit! I like your sense of responsibility. Keiji should be like that, right? I'll do my best in everything! Hey, I'm in charge of the public morals, you know? Tch. <laughs> I don't know if they were serious or joking, but those three are getting bolder and bolder. Keiji-kun! Hey, hey! Please don't do that in the service area! No sweat, Keiji-san! It's not good! Will you assist me today? Of course I can't! I'm a guy! Huh, busted. 
What is it? This. I want you to personally take me home today. <laughs> Impossible. We were having such a lively day, but finally an incident happened. Oh my god! Sato-san, the girls are in a big fight! What? What's going on? Don't mess with me! That's my line! Don't get carried away just because you're a big seller! Hey, calm down a little! I trusted you! Do you really think I did it? What's wrong? What happened? Look at this! The other girl's personal belongings were in my, Nagisa-san, and Miui-san's locker! It's not just they were there, you stole them! We don't steal people's things! Do you think we would do such a thing? Is that what you're trying to say? But they were actually in there! I respected you and your friends, but the fact is that I can't see it! I don't believe that Noah-san, Nagisa-san, or Yui-san would do such a thing. However, it is true that everyone's personal belongings and things that should not have been stolen were in the locker. We had changed the locks. But it is also true that some of you forgot to lock the lock and were not thorough. I apologize for making you all uneasy. We will strengthen our countermeasures, so could you please manage to settle the matter for today? If you say so, Keiji-kun. Keiji, it's not just your fault. Anyway, let's be careful about forgetting to lock the door, too. I'll bring back the key, too. I'm not looking for a fight. I'm shocked! Noah-san, I'm sorry. I thought I created a good working environment for the girls. Thank you, Keiji, for believing in us. I'm glad you believed us. Because many people don't believe me just because I'm a hostess. I don't think of you all as the kind of people who would do something like that. Why would you think that? We have said some cold things to you. Even if you were cold to me, you didn't say anything unreasonable. I'll review the surveillance cameras again. Excuse me. He's always the first to leave when we're done. I called out to him too, but he wants to find the culprit. Yeah... Surveillance cameras didn't pick up any suspicious characters, but the only thing that bothered me was... You suck! What? Something happened again? What's wrong? Noah-san is the culprit! Huh? My and Yui's personal belongings were in Noah-san's locker. Why do you think I did it? Because you want to remain at the top, don't you? It's all Sato-san's fault, who's in charge of the public morals. Suzuki, when did you... Sato-san should take responsibility and quit. <laughs> what are you saying all of a sudden? Only the girls are allowed in here, but sometimes the girls come here to pick up things they've forgotten, so you and I won't be suspected even if we're caught on the surveillance cameras. Huh? Uh. How do you know so much about this stuff? Gulp! If it wasn't the culprit, you wouldn't know. I knew you didn't like Keiji! I never thought you'd fall for such a trick! So lame! Uh... Suzuki-san was then taken away by the police. I can't believe the three of you worked to solve this. I'm sorry. It's okay. Thank you so much for your help this time. We're the ones who wanted to thank you. I'm really glad you believed in me. It's for Keiji-san's sake. Let's keep up the good work together. Hold up! What? Who are you going to choose in the end? Excuse me? You decide! I can go back to my day job! I'll 
quit and follow you. My feelings for KG are second to none. I can't do that right now. Besides, I'll be in trouble if you quit. I talked to the owner, and it was decided that if the person becomes number one in sales, she'll be allowed to go on a date with you that month. But what about public morals? If I can't decide, does that mean I'm choosing them all? Thanks for watching to the end! Please subscribe to our channel too!